Balanced Living and welcome back to our channel. So everyone's decorating for fall. We have done that. We are like, this is the month of this dining room, I guess. We have really been featuring it a lot, but that's because it's gathering season and my daughter turned two, actually she turns two today, which is October 11th, and we had her birthday party this weekend. So mom and I thought it'd be a good time to share hosting tips, budget-friendly hosting tips, and ways to make a big impact while you're having people over. So this is gonna be if you need birthday party ideas, but also kind of leaning into the holiday. And hosting with the mosting. Hosting with the mosting, which that's mom's. <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of her deal. That's who she is. So we, this party, we wanted to keep it low key, but we are not low key people. We're not. No, we just love like, we love the fluff. The fluff, it's super fun for us. And so we did, it was a simple party. It wasn't a huge party. Right. Cause you know, there's a lot coming up and I didn't want to overwhelm people. So, but we had to have the balloon arch. And originally at Quinn's baby shower, Yes. You had that hired out. Yes. And it was expensive. Uh, this would approximately be, the, this balloon arch goes both sides, be approximately $700. Yeah, probably. According to that, I mean, inflation, we don't know. But it would be. But we found the kits on Amazon for $19, got a um, electric balloon pump. pump. I think about 45 minutes per arch, and I did one. The, on Thursday and then the other on Friday and then the party was Saturday so it wasn't that big of a deal but um, I had some people on Instagram ask for tips on how to do it I'm just gonna give a couple simple tips we're not gonna like do a full tutorial on balloon arches but the first thing was I tied the balloons together so in the kit you get a strip with holes in it and I've seen people try to use the kits and they stick one singular balloon per hole and it just looks like a rope of balloons it doesn't have that like layered effect where it just has a lot of impact and so anyways I tied the balloons together and then stuck one, two balloons in one, one hole, hole. Mm -hmm. and that really built a pretty good um, size arch and then I used in this particular one I'll link it down below I made sure the bigger balloons were in the corner and I didn't really try to structure it too much from there, like big balloons in the corner and then just whatever happened, happened on the, yeah, on the, but do you have any other do you, that you can think of that I have? No. I mean, you've got to get the electric pump. Don't even try yes. to blow these up with you. Yes. <laughs> but. Yes, we did that and it was a definitely a good tip. Yeah. It was my, that was my idea. That was your idea. Yes. Simple. So, so anyways. Yeah. If you're looking for a way to make a big impact, you don't have to do two giant arches. You could do one simple one, but this particular kit, I actually had a lot of balloons extra, so it's a good one if you want that down below. Yeah. So now let's talk about actually having people over food. So you always have a major list leading up to the party. Right. I keep a list, and but I will say one of the ways that I keep a party easier for me and simpler for guests is I have a limited number. I know the grazing table is really hot right now, but I have a limited number of food items yeah. because that way I don't have to think about, you know, getting a bazillion different things and laying it all out, yeah. but it still looks like a grazing table. Yeah. Somewhat. Uh, but I just had maybe seven items. Yeah. And that was all. That was all. Yeah. A couple years ago, actually, we made a video on entertainment tips with our friend Monica. And one thing that she said that struck me, and I, you've always lived this way, but you never like spoke it, I don't think. And she, but she said, you need to do, make sure that you're setting up your party for you to enjoy it. Like, what's the right. point in having people over? if you're gonna be stressed out and running around like a chicken with your head cut off and you can't enjoy your home that you are inviting people. Right, so. so we always try to do as much as possible the night before, anything we can put in the refrigerator and just pull out, even we plate it if yeah. we can. Yeah. And so we're just literally pulling it out of the refrigerator. But you wanna talk about our menu? 
Well, yeah, it we, was, we did, the theme was T for two. And yes. so you can go Yeah, ahead. so basically if you come up with a theme, that's gonna also help you fill in the blanks of what kind of foods you might wanna have. So we had T for two, of course we had to have tea sandwiches and yeah. because it was for several little ones we did some gourmet pb and j's yeah not the cheap jelly and peanut butter these were adult central market yes yeah. yes adult friendly pb and j um so we had a little cucumber sandwich with an herb cream cheese spread and chicken salad yeah and then we had a uh, little boats with fruit and clotted cream that they could put on the side and then they had also little cups where we put in the bottom some ranch dip and carrots and celery sticks yeah on the other side of the table what i'm super proud about and most excited to share with you is my ten dollar and under tip of a donut pile yeah if you want things like just get flowers stick donuts on the table and shove flowers in them and it's so cheap looks so like fancy fancy <laughs> so if you want to be like i'm having a brunch yeah, just no, get donuts just and shove flowers on the plate <laughs> shove baby's breath or what yeah. it eucalyptus yeah. flowers something like that and then we just made a standard white cake that was all yeah we didn't we didn't, we make, didn't it. make it actually we, we had a friend make a standard white cake and we fluffed it and we fluffed it using also in addition flowers eucalyptus and um it, since it was a tea party we put a little mini yeah. teacup on top well and another budget friendly tip that we did um is we actually estate sale we thrifted for those things those that decor so like what we used to stage the cake and we also used the teacups to stage the cupcakes and we just decorated mm -hmm. in general with those items and they were yeah. affordable because we weren't buying new we were estate selling and also you could keep them later so right. if you have something like that whether it's like christmas i mean you can get christmas decor at estate sale so not everything has to be brand new from right. Target. <laughs> and also, another thing, we pretty much left our fall decor out and just built our table around yeah. what we already had. So we used those same, uh, what kind of colors do you? I don't know. It the, was the kind of just... tell pumpkins, which are... Yeah. Cinderella pumpkins, kind of like a greenish or bl green blue-ish. And then we had more of like, I called it a sunset palette, but it pulled from those oranges, peaches, you can see like the blushes and the rose golds really coordinate right. well with that. We didn't try to pull back everything we already had. We just Added. kind of built on it. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I mean, I know it's, we're running into Thanksgiving and Christmas. I mean, we're going to post Christmas like next week or something. No, I mean, sooner than you think. Right. And, but I just thought it was a perfect time while we just kind of gathered our thoughts around entertaining and having people over and you guys are gonna do that as the season progresses. These are a tip, so. And people have birthdays during the holidays. People so. do have yeah. birthdays during. Yeah, and if you just need like baby friendly birthday stuff, I mean, baby shower. Yeah, this is a great idea. So yeah. anyways, and yeah, I'm, I really just needed to do a video because I'm impressed with my balloon arch. <laughs> I'm impressed with my donut pal. Sorry, I mean that's. A, We're just doing this to brag on her. Yeah. <laughs> no, we really love you guys. Don't yeah. Don't take that wrong. So, <laughs> anyways, you can close this out, mom. Yeah. So anyway, we love that it's holiday season. We love sharing with you guys. So like and subscribe. Share our videos with your friends, and um, we've got more coming holiday fun hosting tips coming soon. Yeah. We've got lots of fun videos, so you'll have a good day. Make sure you subscribe. Bye. Bye.